find your happiness. As you can see, I'm in my office, kind of. <laughs> this is what we call the bourbon room inside Dynamic Capital. It just came to me earlier this morning that, you know, I'm gonna use this space as a creative space. Why not? <laughs> gonna take full advantage of it. So look, the video that we're doing today, find your happiness. That car, that home, shoes, anything that's materialistic, once you achieve that, it really doesn't like doesn't fulfill anything. I know for a fact that I've been trying to that I've been visualizing myself in this Ford Raptor. I even test drove it so I could actually visualize myself doing all that. But I got bigger dreams than just that. And I hope you do as well. Whether it's traveling, experiences, more family time. Cause I was listening to Psycho Cybernetics. And this is not like how you should want to do things. Cause then you're just gonna have another goal, another problem. Life is just full of problems that you'll have to solve, that you'll continue to be solving every day, right? So I just wanted to say that. This past weekend, Braylon spent the night for the first time. I used to only be able to take him to my mama's house. And from the, and before that, like she used to bring him over. Like his mom, she used to bring him over. She would stay for a bit. You know what I'm saying? Like not at then after that, I was able to just pick him up. And we went to my mama's house, just hung out over there. But now he done actually spent the night at the crib. Like that's a, I started, I wrote that down. That's one of my goals to see my child more, see Braylon more, because he doesn't live with me, obviously, but I only get him on the weekend. So now he definitely, I, I less stress on me because I don't have to drive all the way to 30 minutes to the south side, 30 minutes back to the west side. You know, and Braylon is loud. He really, he's, he's really energetic. You know, taking him on mama's house, he gets loud extremely. He be turned. So it's good to have him at the crib now. He had a great weekend. Yeah, that boy don't listen, I tell you that. <laughs> he does not want to listen. But you know his name, Drew, his sister. They just they just get turned around. Like, they just turned up. Like every time they see each other, they give each other a hug. You know, like, hey Braylon, hey Drew Drew, you know. That's how they talk to each other, right? Now, before all this, I'm gonna tell you a story. Before all this even happened, like when I first came back to Jacksonville from being in Texas, I was a terrible co-parent um, with Brayden's mom. Like, we used to argue, we didn't see eye to eye about a lot of things, and you know, I had to realize this is not about me and her and what I did. It's about Braylon and Drew. Drew and Braylon are seven months apart, and the only person that is to blame is myself. I created a broken home with Braylon, his mom, you know what I'm saying? And it's just the reality of it. But one of my goals is definitely to change that. Not sure how yet, but I'm going to change that, you know. I'm gonna figure something out, you know. But that's definitely one of my goals, you know. Um, whether it's working out right now, yes. But I see more. You know, I, I've created that broken home and I, I just want to do better, right? So with that being said, I remember being younger. One of my main things was, I don't want to be my dad. I do not want to be my father, bro. Like, I don't want to be him. And I, I didn't really even think about what that meant. Do not be like my father. And now I'm in life right now to where that butterfly. Now I'm in life to where I got two babies, 24, both about to be two years old. Braylon's already two. Drew's gonna be two in November. And I I have two kids with two baby mamas, you know what I'm saying? Like that's just the reality of the situation. That's, a, that's just the reality of it. 
And I really stopped talking to my dad because all he do is ask for money. He just asked me for money, bro. Like, he only, he, he, he quote unquote check on me. But in reality, it's like, yeah, bro, I need like $10, $20. Like, no, nah, I ain't got it. Beforehand, back when, uh, like, even then, I was still doing it. Probably like, I say about six months ago, I was still doing it. Just, just sending him money, just because I had it, you know. But now I'm at this point where, no, no, I just can't do it. No. And I have to, that's one of my things that I'm learning in life is to say no. I just gotta say no. It's tough, but I gotta say no. You know, like I'm growing as a man, growing as a father, like, this is just, this is how my life playing out right now. And I still love my dad, don't get me wrong. I just had to distance myself. And sometimes you just gotta cut the people off that you love the most. Cause I, I'm extremely grateful for him. I remember as a child, he used to take me to Monster Jam. We used to, well, not used to, but I remember one time we rode our bikes on the beach. We had took the bus, put our bikes on the front, rode our bikes to the beach, rode on the beach, came back home. You feel me? Like it's like those little things right there. I enjoyed that. Just spend time with my dad. So I think I could ask, you know what I'm saying? But now it's like, it's, he ain't got no money. <laughs> you know, it, it's not like he had a lot of money back then either, but he spent time with me, right? He spent time with me and he, uh, he looked out. But it's like now, it's like, how I look at it is, I, I want to give back to him as well. And just right now, I just can't, because it's just a distraction. It's not, it doesn't help me, right? It just doesn't help me. Literally does not help me at all, whatsoever. It does not help me. And that's just the reality of the situation, bro. And I, I just have to lock in and focus, because one day I will be able to give back to my family as much as they gave back to me. That's one thing that I feel like that, that right there would be my success. Being able to give back to the ones who, who took care of me. You know, even with my, um, the mothers of my children, you know, like they, the ones taking care of my kids while I'm doing this, went from being a mechanic, now my, my checks ain't steady. You feel me? Now I'm in commission-based sales, like, this is the life I'm living, but this is the life I want. It's the difference. It's the life I want. It's the life I signed up for. I wanted this. I'm just going to make the best out of it. And you should too. But that's the end of my video. Appreciate you for listening.